So getting straight into the video, here's a list of 5 cool and awesome apps that you didn't know existed. So the first app on this list is an app called VMOS. So what this app does in, it allows you to run a virtual version of another Android in your Android phone itself. And the main reason why I chose this app is because in this virtual Android version, you can root your phone without actually rooting your phone. Confused? Well, it is very easy. All you need to do is download the app from its website and after downloading and going through the initial setting, which will take some minutes depending upon your phone. And later on, on starting the app, you can see that you are in another version of Android itself. And this version of Android is just like any other version of Android. You have your Play Store, you have your settings, and if you can go through the settings, you can see that it is running on Android version 5.1. And also if you want to root your phone and do the things that require root as well, then routing this is very easy. All you need to do is go to the settings and find the option where it asks you to enable root. And on turning the switch, voila, your phone is rooted. For this app to work more smoothly, you need to have a little bit more than 3G or 32 GB of internal memory. And in phones that don't have this effects, then it will be running much more slower. And I wouldn't recommend this app on any other phone. So next app in this list is an app that I never expected to be real. And when I found out, I thought it is very awesome. So this app is called Splits Cloud W Music Player. And what's so special about this app is that it allows you to play two songs at the same time in one music player. So this is a music player app and its user interface is pretty simple. The screen is divided into two sections where you'll be able to play two different songs. So the area where this app comes useful is when you have a earphone. And if you plug in your earphone or headphone or any other wireless headphone and open this app and play the music, then the music will be different in both of them. You can play one in left and you can play another in your right channel. And this is where this app strength comes in. And this is where this app is also unique. So if you are in a pair and both of you want to hear some different music, then this app is for you. So the next app on this list is a recorder app. Well, not any ordinary recorder, but this is a recorder made by Google for the Pixel 4. So one of the best features of this recorder is that it can transcribe in real time what you are speaking. So if you are speaking a supported language, then you can see that it is transcribing in real time and you can see that it is working pretty good although there are some mistakes maybe that is because of my accent but anyway it is switch and the and there as you can see in there it can detect if you are speaking if you are laughing or if it is recording a music and it's feature and doesn't end here too and as you can see in that it is the only app that allows you to search for the words that you spoke in the recording although it was made for pixel phones you can download this app thanks to some SDA developers and use them on your phone as well only thing you need to have is a phone running on Android version 8 or later. And that is why this app is not an ordinary recording app and also in this list. Alright, so the next app in this list is an app called Dark Mode. So Dark Mode settings is only available from Android version 8. So if your phone is running on an older version of Android, but if you want Dark Mode, then this app is for you. So this app will give you system by dark mode just like the system by dark mode available on current generation of Android versions. You can go to the Blaster and download this app. So the UI is pretty simple. You can see the three options and in your LinkedIn mode, voila, you are in dark mode. And also you can choose the auto mode if you want it to be automatically turned on depending upon the time and you can use it in any way you want. So last app on this list is an app especially made for students. So this app is called Microsoft Math Solver and what this app does is it can solve some of the problems that you see on the map. So I gave it a shot and as you can see in there, I wrote a quadratic equation and I gave this app a try. Not only does this app did a pretty good job but it also showed in steps that are required to reach the solution. Some other feature of this app is that you can also write the equation in the app itself and it will identify what you are trying to write and also it will solve the equation. You will also get additional information about the math. So it is especially made for students or people who want to solve math who are interested in math. Then go ahead and give this app a try. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video then please hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Peace.